Although NATO fully supports Ukraine behind the scenes, it is a common principle of NATO to avoid direct confrontation with Russian troops. But recently, the Russian army accidentally caught a few big fish and captured evidence of NATO's participation in the war. What exactly is this matter about? According to RIA Novosti, a Russian reconnaissance team in the direction of Zaporzhye recently destroyed a leopard tank and captured one of its combatants. It is reported that the seriously injured tank driver shouted to the Russian army in German, indicating that he was not an international mercenary, but a German Bundeswehr soldier. And the other personnel in the destroyed tank were all from the same company as him and belonged to the German Bundeswehr. German soldiers, driving German Leopard tanks, appeared on the Ukrainian battlefield to fight the Russian army and were captured. This incident is definitely very bad news for NATO. This also means that Russia has found evidence that NATO has officially entered the war. Fortunately, the Bundeswehr prisoner captured by the Russian army died not long after his injuries were too serious. The current situation is that although Russia knows that Germany is involved in the Russo-Ukrainian war, it has no proof. However, before his death, the German soldier disclosed all his troops and their location to the Russian army. It is not ruled out that Russia will capture more prisoners from Germany or NATO countries in the future. For Russia, this matter can be said to be a big event, or a small event. After all, Ukraine is now filled with a large number of foreign mercenaries and regular troops. For example, British special forces have long been helping to train Ukrainian soldiers in Kyiv, and American intelligence agencies have also provided long-term intelligence support to Ukraine. However, it is still very rare for soldiers like Germany to be caught red-handed by the Russian army on the battlefield. I wonder what Scholz would think after learning about this situation. If Putin confronts Germany about this, will Scholz admit it frankly or find other excuses? According to analysts, the latter is more likely. After all, direct recognition would mean that Germany has declared war with Moscow. Not to mention whether Berlin has the courage and strength now, even NATO, a military alliance, will not easily allow Germany to declare war with Russia. Russia certainly does not want a direct conflict with NATO. Regarding this matter, it is estimated that Russia will not take it too seriously. Even if it raises questions to Germany, Russia only hopes to use this matter to warn NATO. Finally, if Germany gives an acceptable reason, the matter will be settled.